Coming back to your issue, one of the propositions was, should we spend more on public transit? Well, surprise, surprise, 99% cohort response. Who would say no? So came back with 99%. The legislators sat down and said, well, the public's spoken. You've got to do this. One of the smarter legislators said, well, that's easy. It's mother. Who's going to say no? Nobody knows what it costs. So we've got to go back, run the models, go back and tell the public what it costs. So they did that. Went back and said, here's what it's going to cost. And on your home, it's a $20 billion project for the city. On your home, it's an extra $5,000. They went and did surveys, and the public said, hurry up and do it. That's what the public's chosen now. They know what they want. They know what it costs. Let's hurry up and implement it. The smartest legislator of all says, I'm still not buying it. I said, what do you mean? We had the referendum, and they said, do it. We told them what it costs. They said, hurry up and do it. It must be time to do it. No, no, you still haven't asked the right question. Follow me. When into his constituency, went up to a door and knocked on the door and said, Mr. Stevens, yeah, I know you have said you want transit. Absolutely. You know, in your house, it's $10,000 more a year. I'll give you the check right now. Hurry up and go do it. It was not just one last question. What's that? Well, I see you've got four cars in the driveway. Are you going to get rid of a couple of them and take transit? Of course not. So why are you supporting it? Because I want everybody else to do it so I can zip along.